Hey guys, I'm Sean. I uh, realized uh, as I was looking through um, YouTube for Elemental Shaman Mage Tower stuff, most of it's four months, you know, to a year old. Uh, there's nothing out for the 10.0.5 uh, Mage Tower for Elemental Shaman. Uh, so I decided to do one myself after I beat it last night. Um, I beat it, forgot I wasn't recording, so started it up this morning and had another crack at it, beat it the first try again. Um, so let's go through, I'll show you, uh, what I did, um, some tips, uh, the talents I used, uh, and what you've got to focus on as you're doing this. It's relatively simple once you've got it down. Um, the main thing you're looking at is kind of rotating your abilities out. Um, I went with her shield on myself for the healing, uh, healing stream is down whenever, and that boosts your healing surge. Um, make sure you rebuff when you go in there because your flame tongue uh, weapon's going to be down. So, the first thing I did when I started off was uh, I'm getting my uh, my Ice Fury going. Uh, keep in mind, this is all stuff I did. Uh, this might not be the most efficient way to do it, but it, it certainly worked for me. Okay? So, get Ice Fury. I pop my elemental. Uh... Got my magma totem. And you want to keep uh, Flame Shock up on Agatha. I'm not using any abilities here. I'm waiting till the Imp Servants come out. I Flame Shock one, um, I Primordial Wave the other, and then I take those down as quick as possible. The Fuming Imp, um, I kill him while he's far enough away from me so he doesn't explode. If he does go to explode, uh, I thunderstorm him away so he doesn't put that on the ground. You want to make sure those don't go on the ground, and if they are on the ground, um, you keep them off to the side. Uh, those little pools that they make, uh, try not to have any. You're just constantly doing damage. Um, I did Stormkeeper a little too early there. Um, I was kind of preemptively doing it for the next wave. I get rid of that Fuming Imp almost immediately. I slow him down. Um, go back to... Uh, fighting Agatha um, the imp servants are here once again I stun them uh, I believe I think I accidentally um... nope we're good keep going I usually use my stormkeeper for when she summons a bunch of little imps and I use my primordial wave and flame shock for the uh, imp servants and Fuming Imp again, um, hit him with the Ice Fury, the uh, Frost Shock kills him pretty quickly. Here I'm looking, um, just trying to spy when the uh, when the Imp Servants are going to pop up. As soon as you get that shield off her, um, kick, kick that Dark Fury immediately. Um, so those Imp Servants go down ridiculously quick if... Um, if you're using a memorial wave, right? So you're just pumping damage in. The uh, little limbs pop out. Stormkeeper. And then they just get deleted. So we move on through. Um, it, it pretty much keeps going like this until we get to about... Let's see where we're to. Until we're at about... It's all pretty much the same till you get to 50%. Uh, this is where she teleports. Now, this is what I'm saving um, Lust for. So, I, I destroy those two imps. Um, I didn't get a chance to get Stormkeeper because of those... Um, because of the boulders. You want to make sure you don't get hit by the boulders. They will stun you. And it's very easy to get killed. So, I'm healing up. That's your main thing. Just make sure you're, you're healed up. Get rid of her shield. Don't get hit. I get stunned here. There's a plague zone. I should have uh, thunderstormed that away. I didn't, and that's going to cause a bit of an issue later. So here I'm just avoiding them, doing damage. Uh, I should pop up my earth shield real soon when I realize that I've lost it. 
Um, there it is. I drop a uh, totem. Them servants come out. I hit them. Kill them as quick as I can. The big thing with this is not getting overwhelmed by the uh, the imps. Right? Make sure you get rid of the imps as soon as possible. When she pops her shield, um, break the shield and stun her immediately. If you've got Earthquake ready, if you've got your uh, Magma Totem ready, I know it's not Magma Totem. Anyways, if you've got those ready, you can drop those down on the imps and kind of forget about them and keep just pumping damage into Agatha. Don't forget your... Um, don't forget your elementals. Use your elementals whenever they pop up. Those two are very easy to kill. Go. Yeah, that's another one. Make sure you're always looking for those boulders. Those boulders will mess you up. But that's pretty much it guys um that kind of rinses and repeats until uh she teleports again she's at you know 30 percent there i think it's a timed thing it's a few minutes she'll teleport over um keep your health up get rid of the ads and that's pretty much it whenever you get a chance dps her but keep your health up um kill the ads watch out for boulders and you should be good I'll let this play through so you can see um, that I actually, you know, defeated it again. But um, this was the second time defeating it. Um, I think back in the day uh, when it first came out, I defeated it. Uh, but it was it was something. I think I almost died here as well. No, no, uh, maybe. All right, yeah, don't forget your Spirit Walker's Grace as well. That is that is such a good ability. It's especially when you have to be on the move like this. One reason I pick Ice Fury is because um, if you get a lot of stuff going on at once, you can still dish out that damage. You can still get rid of the imps while you're on the move. Um, you pop Ice Fury and then just start Frost Shock and stuff. Remember, save your Primordial Wave and your Flame Shock, and that should take care of those little ones. Knock them away. I didn't even... I didn't think I was going to kill that imp, but I ended up just... Uh... Hitting them with Lava Burst. Those imps go down pretty quickly. Go for those spots. Yeah. If you're topped off and you're taking care of the ads, this is a relatively easy fight. Low on health here. Um, chain lightning going. Just dropped uh, magma totem. I know it's not magma totem. There's a. Uh, there's another name for it. It's just slipping me right now. Um, it's this totem down here. Incredibly important to watch out for those uh, boulders. They will mess you up. Heal up.
Earth Shield's such a such a saving grace here. Give it a Dark Fury. And there it is. Um so yeah, key points. Uh, safe Primordial Wave and Flame Shock for uh, Imp Servants. Uh, use your uh, Lava Magma Totem right there. Sorry, I forget the name, guys. Uh, for the group of adds that spawn, uh, use Earthquake for that. Uh, get Ice Ice Fury out so you can uh, use those fr uh, Frost Shocks. Main things, um, Earth Shield yourself. Keep yourself up. Get rid of adds. And um, they should have it. So uh, good luck.